Hello everyone, I am Dr. Asmatullah and today we will discuss 4th year MBBS OSCE. This is your first station. Look at the picture and answer the following questions. This is a 10 year old child. Look at the right eye. This is turned inward while the left eye is straight while in glosses both eyes are straight so your diagnosis will be esotropia and if it is corrected with the glosses we will call it accommodative esotropia accommodative esotropia what is the type of refractive error the type of refractive error which is present in this case will be hyperopia because in most of the accommodative esotropia the patient is hyperopic that's why the eye become turned inward what are the treatment options the treatment option for fully accommodative esotropia is glasses the patient will become the eyes will be straight in glasses while in partially accommodative isotropia the patient will need glasses as well as surgery first we will do the surgery so uh, her eyes will be straight partially with the surgery and partially with the help of glasses so always counsel the patients so this will be your first station now we will go to the next station look at the picture and answer the questions this is very important in this picture image of the object is focused behind the retina over here okay if the image of the picture is focused in front of the retina like this over here so this will be a myopic eye and the patient will be myopic okay the refractive will be myopic and if the picture is partially partially in front of the eye partially behind the eye and some of the rays on the retina so this will all so the picture will be mixed and it will be blur so this will be a case of astigmatism so there are total three types of refractive error hypermetropia myopia astigmatism and the one which is after came after 40 years of age is presbyopia so sometime you will be asked this type of question they how many <coughs> how many types of refractive error are there so how will you correct this refractive error with the help of glasses which lenses will be used so in this case if it is hypermetropic the plus lenses or convex lenses will be used if the patient is myopic like in front of the retina are raising converging we will use converging uh, diverging lenses like this in myopic cases the lens shape will be like this while in hypermetropic cases the lens shape will be like this okay so these are different types of lenses which are used in refractive correction of refractive errors okay now we will move to the next slide <coughs> look at the picture here is a small tear which is called u-shaped tear or heart shoe shaped tear and this is the uh, retinal detachment so we will call it a regmatogenous retinal detachment there is a regma regma means hole there is a hole in the retina and the, the retina is been detached because the fluid the subretinal fluid goes into through this hole and detach the retina okay now what are the treatment options there are two treatment options available one is external retinal detachment surgery are also called scleral buckling procedure so in scleral buckling, in scleral buckling procedure and the second is vitrectomy plus injection of silicon oil into the vitreous cavity and endo laser to these spots okay all around the tear there has to be some endo laser or external laser should be done so this is your next station 
now this is a very important station always came in exam look at the picture there is a cataract white mature cataract okay this will be your diagnosis what are the complications of cataract surgery the complication of cataract surgery are subconjunctival hemorrhage posterior capsular tear vitreous loss end of thalamitis and damage to the iris okay what are the different procedures for cataract surgery different procedure are extra capsular cataract extraction phaco emulsification okay and small incision cataract surgery sics so these are different procedure for cataract okay this is your next station now look at this picture and answer the question some surgery has been done to this patient name the surgery the surgery of this uh, uh, this surgery is called laser peripheral iridotomy with the help of laser we make a small hole in the peripheral part of the iris why we do this to decrease the pressure in the acute angle closure glaucoma patient the indication of this surgery is in acute angle closure glaucoma okay look at this picture and answer the question this is very important picture what is this sign called this sign is called leukocoria this sign is called leukocoria white reflex what are the different differential diagnosis are in which condition there will be white reflex number one is congenital cataract second is retinoblastoma third is coat disease so all these three differential diagnoses are should be in this uh, picture okay if uh, someone asks you what are the treatment option in con of congenital cataracts so removal of the cataract and implantation of uh, IUL with interior vitrectomy and posterior capsule CCC which is also called Rexes look at this picture this is a case of subconjunctival hemorrhage the diagnosis is subconjunctival hemorrhage what are the different causes of subconjunctival hemorrhage are hypertension old age in which vessels become fragile trauma and valsalva maneuver so these are the different causes of subconjunctival hemorrhage okay How will you manage? Counsel the patient regarding this and then give the patient topical steroid drops for two weeks and artificial tear drops for one or two months. Okay. Now this is a case of herpetic ulcer or dendritic ulcer. Okay. Which virus will cause this? herpes simplex virus okay uh, which stain has been used in this case this is fluorescein staining and what are the management steps or treatment options so you will give inactive disease you will give uh, antiviral medication antiviral ointments oral antiviral drugs and topical steroids merge steroid to topical and artificial tears so these are the treatment options okay look at the picture and answer the questions this is a corneal foreign body okay this will be your diagnosis how will you manage this case removal of the foreign body with the help of 26 gauge needle then start the patient on topical antibiotics give him cycloplegics okay which is cyclopentolate and for pain you can also give anti-inflammatory medications okay look at this picture this is another subconjunctival hemorrhage okay look at this picture this eye is normal this is proptosed eye what is the diagnosis left unilateral proptosis with lead retraction if you write it as only proptosis we will give 
u marks okay and what are the different diseases in which proptosis happens or occurs the different diseases in which proptosis occurs include thyroid eye disease in thyroid eye it can be unilateral or bilateral and lo there are some local causes in local causes it's include capillary hemangioma orbital cellulitis okay uh, optic nerve tumor which is uh, include optic nerve glioma optic nerve, nerve meningioma okay all of these are retrobulbar hematoma these are the different differential diagnosis of proptosis how will you manage the management of proptosis depends upon its cause if it is because of thyroid eye disease we will try to uh, we will try to uh, normalize the thyroxine in the blood okay and if uh, it because of some other reason so we will manage accordingly look at this picture and this is a case of uh, basal cell carcinoma okay what are the differential diagnosis differential diagnosis include squamous cell carcinoma mebon uh, gland carcinoma okay or sebaceous carcinoma or uh, non pigmented nevus of the lower eyelid and what are the different surgeries or procedures for this different procedures and surgeries for these are uh, micrographic technique of excision or frozen sections okay so the treatment of this condition is radiotherapy and surgical excision look at this picture this is lower lid entropion okay lower lid entropion what can what are the complication of entropion corneal opacity corneal ulcer decreased vision foreign body sensation so these are the complications and what are the uh, management step managements include epilation of the eyelashes epilation means removal of the eyelashes and the second one is uh, electrolysis of the uh, eyelashes or cryotherapy to the eyelashes so it will be permanently removed from the eye and uh, the fourth one is a surgical treatment of the lower lid